what's going on guys come back on say hello to check on some devices here Okay. It's okay. Load up the old dashboard here. Always helps. Yeah. So since I last saw you a few hours ago, I'm going pretty hard today. We're going to hang out. I kind of fixed a dryer. I have a, I don't know if you know, if you've ever done anything about dryers before, but uh, basically a lot of lint over a long period of time lint can get stuck in there and so you have to clean them out and so you get a vacuum cleaner or something like that and then you get in there and you vacuum it out and you pull the thing out the back that to the um the dryer hose you know the, the tubes and stuff like that and you pull it all out and you vacuum the crap out of it and then you put it all back together total pain in the ass anyways but i did it so good times which it wasn't but that's all right came back to see you guys now we're gonna go back to our Jollycraft world um, we're gonna take a look at maybe a little bit more diamond mining trying to find diamonds or anything else for that matter and we might even just put a stop to that for a little bit in order to um, work on our hallway where a bunch of underground farms and sort of gadgets we're gonna put in hallways underneath the house right so yeah without any further ado as they say, let's jump on in. Diamond room, lots of picks. I'll tell you what, let's just start with a little bit more work on this. Got a feeling that we won't want to hang out here too much longer though just because we put a lot of work into it today you can see all of this today all of it we'll just uh we'll get rid of some of this and check it out I hear a skeleton somewhere over there with any luck we'll find a cavern We'd very much like to find a cavern Got a little um, royalty free lo fi mix going on in the background here. We'll check it out. We'll see if it's any good. I have medium expectations. But one thing for sure, it'll be nice if nothing else. But if this starts putting us to sleep or not doing it for us, we will also be changing the music up. this down so trying to get to 50 followers today um, which in my mind isn't uh, you know collecting followers for my own purposes on twitch it's more like I'm trying to meet 50 people today um, started out with about 20 something 27 sounds about right about 27 and uh, yeah, a lot of people came by and did a, did a couple hours streaming and a lot of people popped by. It was really great. Uh, it was great to meet you all. People from um, 
pretty far away. People from not so far away from me, which is kind of cool, right? Super pro broadcasting moment. Just one second here. <laughs> it felt like there was something in my eye. <laughs> yeah, this is not... Uh, this is not professionally produced uh, shows going on here. This is the real deal. I'm I'm just a dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you hear that skeleton too, don't you? I hear him somewhere. People who've been on this crazy diamond journey for so long I'm actually gonna leave those sitting there just for now in the hopes that they come back and see me because we did it I can't even believe that we actually found some diamonds if you look at this massive cavern over here this was all in the hopes of finding diamonds all of this and then down the other side too See? And we did it. I'm going to leave those sitting there for just a few uh, people who've been following, people who've been popping by to, to, pardon me, to say hi. Um, I'm actually going to leave those there. The, the moment of truth, when we mine those diamonds, it's going to feel so good. It's going to feel like we accomplished something, so... For now, we're just going to leave that alone. But I will clear all around it. No doubt about that. So happy. If I can get a diamond pickaxe together, we're in business. Because then I will be making a obsidian farm. Uh, kind of little thingy, right? So you can make obsidian. Don't need to go too far for it. And that's always really nice. It's a great block. Um, great block for house building. It's just a, a good block to have if you want to build something the creepers can't blow up easy and things like that. It's got a nice color to it. More? Oh yeah, there's more. More? We're clearing all around it here. See, these diamonds are above me, and that's really pissing me off. Because we've been mining low for a reason here, in the hopes of finding diamonds low. But, it paid off high. More? No, it looks like it stops there. More? No, that's it. Five. Six? Six. Yeah, we did it. I'm so happy. Totally need that. So now it's time to find even more. skeleton maybe above us can't quite tell where that's coming from oh more oh 
Okay, I'm thrilled. Was it worth it? The giant room? All that work we put into a gigantic room? Well, it's been fun, if nothing else. So, this is a Korean chill hop, I think is what it says. Korean chill hop, lo-fi, royalty-free Korea thing. And uh, I'm hearing dinner music. Don't you hear that? I'm hearing like, uh, can I take your order, sir? Yes, the uh, fish is fresh. Would you like uh, bread? The baguette is fresh. Would you like um, Chateau de Rion, whatever the <laughs> it's supposed to be? <laughs> Want to clear just a little bit around these tables here. 100% in disbelief that we just found two patches of diamonds. This is fantastic. All I want is the diamond pickaxe for now, though. We'll save those other diamonds for later. Um, get an enchanting room up and running, perhaps, you know, and uh, be good to have those diamonds ready. Be able to make some good gear, enchant the living hell out of it all. zero, which is what we got for a long time. So my webcam software has a fancy schmancy background stuff. You can kind of see how it works and doesn't work. If you don't have a green screen, which is a pain in the butt, um, this thing claims to do a bit of green screen stuff for you. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm down with it. I kind of like just the blurred background was really nice and it, it worked, you know. This is barely working. We get a few viewers on. We'll we'll take a little uh, poll. We'll ask we'll ask each other what we think is a little better. There's been some people who've popped by the stream um, off and on almost every time I log on now. It's been great to see them. And they have been huge emotional support concerning finding these ridiculous diamonds deep in this gigantic thing that we made here. So I feel like we need to hold off and just wait till one or two of them come on. Just make sure that they can see this. With that. Hey. <laughs> I know, it's not a big deal to some people, it's not a big deal to some people, but this was huge for me because, wow, did we put the work in. So, diamonds for me, diamonds for you. We're doing it. Yeah, you know what? This stream is extra hurting. Look at that. It's already better. All that music just got better. We are definitely not doing that again. But we could do something like this. This is not a very large one. Hold on a second, we'll find something of quality, right? This is one that we've listened to before, so we're not doing that. 
just checking it out here, guys. Just taking a look, right? Let's see what this is all about. I think we should throw out a bunch of that uh, cobblestone too. I'm not keeping it. Do it like this. Keeping the granite. This is all good stuff right here. unload for now just a little bit of that bring it upstairs later right see I really want to know we're hearing those uh, skeletons or at least one skeleton somewhere over here I really want to know Where he is, I'd like to find him. A big chunk of bread. Let's put mine straight up, just to see if there's like some cavern above us that maybe that's what this is all about, right? Probably not down. You never know. But there isn't much down left in this whole uh, great big pit that I dug. And I think we're sitting on about nine right now. Why nine? So. Just like that. Still hear him. He's around somewhere. Just busting away here, no big deal. Hope you guys are feeling uh, just enjoying the chill vibes, you know. Okay, it sounds like the skeleton's over there maybe up really hard time listening for up and down in this game
Facebook's been very cruel with cutting the audio from my streams, uh, chunks of the audio. It's not the entire stream, but uh, it thinks it found something that has a copyright, and so it just mutes the audio for that section of the... Yeah, there is something over here for sure. Yeah, it mutes that, that section of the um, file, and quite frankly, um, you know, it says that it's royalty-free music. Uh, it could suggest, for example, that, oh, well, that's a lie, it's not royalty-free. But I think I believe the person who put the file up more than I believe Facebook. I think they're just hearing a sample that sounds a lot like another sample, and the algorithm is choosing to mute my stuff. So not too pleased with Facebook's gaming video gaming thing right now. Not too happy about that. Yeah, it's this way. find out. Yep. Found it. Awesome. And it has led us to some obsidian already ready to mine, which is amazing for us. Because I don't want to make the farm and then have to... I wanted to get started right away. Oh. Whatever. Let's come on up here. This is pretty deep, I'll tell you that. Whatever we're hearing, I don't see it. This is the end. Okay, whatever. Don't care, don't need it, don't want it. We know this ends up here. And it's not leading to anything super valuable. Sounds like it's right there. We just went up there and there's nothing there. So let's go down. Oh, look at this. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? That's right. That's for you. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at all this obsidian. Yeah. I'm really happy about this. If you're watching in the stream, uh, if you're watching the stream, say hi in the chat there. Let me know you're here. I like meeting people. Look at this. So some lapis coming out of the wall. Should I get rid of the water? I kind of like how the water is like... I kind of like it. Let's put up some torches though. Get this happening. This is... All right, without getting too far ahead of ourselves here, it's clearly it's adventure time, but... Pyrosynth, how you doing? Thanks for very much for uh, hanging out, man. How you doing today? 
got some pretty exciting news for my little stream. I uh, found some diamonds, uh, which was like many streams. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Um, see, here you go. Found them, right? And some more over here. But I have been hollowing out a gigantic room looking for diamonds. And, uh, dude, take a look. See? This is me. Not efficiency miner, right? See? Looking for diamonds. Just looking for anything, really, but, uh, especially diamonds, of course. And, yeah, it took forever, right? But I did it. And, um, hearing some mobs. Just found this little, uh, room back here. Oh, it's a, it's, yeah, it's the worst, buddy. It is the worst. <laughs> it's literally been just hanging out doing a little bit of mining a little bit of mining until finally it turned into that right not so great let's just make a double staircase because I'm going to want to come back up in here for sure Yeah, well, see, I did it over multiple streams, right? So, does it count as a little? It's not a little bit of mining, you're right. <laughs> you're right, that's, that's too much, really. <laughs> but, I did it. And I uh, got a lot of support from uh, people watching, people uh, in the chat there, giving me a lot of emotional support getting through a room that size, that's for sure. But this is what I found really interesting. Check this out. Is this what I think it is? I think it is. Mm, no, it's not. All right. Yeah, well. <laughs> believe me when I say I needed it. I was, I was starting to lose hope is what was happening there. Okay, this is a weird little thing. Yeah, look at this. All right, whatever. It's kind of fun. Lots of coal. Tried to, I thought today what I would do is log on to Twitch uh, and Facebook, uh, streaming on Facebook as well, and uh, try and get to 50 followers. That's the name of the game today. Let's uh, see if I can meet 50 people, you know? Uh, if you like the stream, give it a follow, of course. Um, if you want to hang out, no big deal. Had some people come back again and again, and uh, they are very knowledgeable about Minecraft. I've actually been really surprised how everybody, uh, nobody's a specialist kind of thing, but everybody knows a thing or two that uh, they can share. I've already really benefited from streaming my game, which uh, I haven't in the past, so you know what I mean? Yeah, right on. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Something I really like to know is where are you watching from? If you, if you don't mind sharing, uh, not your home address, but, you know, where are you checking in from? I'm streaming from Canada right now. Ontario, Canada. Okay, this is a pit of despair that we're going up into here. East Coast US, so nice, man. I hope the weather's better than around here. We got sort of a, there's an ice storm, then it snowed a tiny bit, now it's raining. So it's like a slushy, it's just a world of slush is what's happening where I live right now. And it's, it's not fun. I'd much rather be inside with you guys. All right, so we're way above anything of value. I'm just gonna keep planting some torches though. We're, we're just gonna, as far as we'll go because we ran out of torches yeah it is really gross man <laughs> right on I was talking with uh, somebody checked in here uh, just popped into the stream from Georgia somebody popped in from Florida which is really cool nice places for sure 
and now you are East Coast. Maybe we should do like a world tour stream to see if how many people we can pop in, pop, put it on a, on a map, see if we can sort of cover uh, cover a lot of ground. Looks like we need a lot more torches pushing into that uh, into that cave system there. Just way too many sticks. That's okay. Because I want way too many torches. That's fine. Yeah? God, I've seen what Streamlabs can't do, but it's not much, eh? Uh, I actually quite like it. It's running really well. I have, um... I have X, uh... XSplit's Gamecaster as well, which is coming along, but it's in its beta right now, so it, it um it works really well, but it really taxes my system. My my computer does not uh, doesn't like it too much. It runs it real hot, so I'm using uh, Streamlabs for sure right now. Just fine by me. Streamlabs is great. All right, let's throw a few things out. I really should just create the trash bin over there. Haven't bothered to do that yet. Didn't think I'd be around here as long as I have been. Just throw this junk out here. Why? Get it out of here. kind of nice maybe I should I'll, you know what I'll look into it I, would, I wouldn't I, I like to know where people are from oh it's lava this is jolly craft um, jolly craft texture pack right for bedrock I'll show you lava again here see pretty weird eh? bubbling away pretty gross that's some coal in the background there Andesite. This is all cobblestone here. And then once you pick it up and you put it back down, the cobblestone turns into these tiles here. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's um let's just put away a little bit of this stuff first. Just to empty out a tiny bit. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. One more. There. Yeah, I'll show you the um Yeah, it's definitely cool, eh? Uh, Jollycraft is also very light on your system. It's bedrock, right? So it's not, like, intense, you know? Um, all of the C++ coding for bedrock is really impressive, in my opinion. I think that uh, there's a Java community that got pretty mad, I think, a little bit, at uh, Mojang for the working so hard on bedrock and not putting the time into Java, but to be honest, the C++ thing is so smooth. It renders distances very fast compared to Java, and it doesn't get bog, uh, bogged down much. I, I quite like it. And this texture pack is in the market marketplace for like five bucks or something. Yeah, so there's obsidian right there. Where the water meets the lava, right? Look at that. Looking good. Yeah. So I could have swore I still hear a skeleton when I'm like around here, but there's nothing up there. It's, there's nothing up there. We've been up there. Unless it's like basically above us, eh? Yeah. You know what, Skelly? You hang out, buddy. You're okay. Everything's going to be okay. I'm not going to bother with him right now. We'll punch away at these walls just a little bit more. Head on down that cave system. If uh, if I get a few more viewers on, we'll, we'll go on an adventure. 
get a few more people to pop on and say hello then we'll uh we'll go down those uh, mine shafts and hopefully we can find some good good stuff Now I want to know, but I don't have a diamond pickaxe just yet because I'm saving this just for a minute or two, not for long. Oh, this texture pack's great, buddy. You know what, actually, um. I'll stop what I'm doing here. I'm gonna actually show you just really quick. I'll show you like where its real strengths are. We're just down in the uh, basement of my house at the moment here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. People who put this texture pack together did a bang up job of sort of respecting Minecraft, but they really did change everything. The tones, the colors as the colors work together is to, in my mind that's the feature of this pack great textures great colors it all works together beautifully so we'll just come up my ridiculous mine shaft with no stairs at the moment take a quick look outside no big deal there hit the bed baby zombie out there and a creeper that creeper's got to die right away so we'll just head on out look at this spider here come here you check him out harassing my cows don't blow up <laughs> nice. How many cows do I got in here? At least one too many. Two too many. Four cows is enough. Let's breed them up. Real quick. You. And you. Baby cow. Beauty. Yeah, actually, the spiders look almost friendly, eh? It's true. Kind of cute. Might as well harvest some of this while I'm out here. These are just sort of starter farms, just to get the house going there. I'll do something much more uh, beautiful in the near future. So yeah, this is the house. Got um, chose this spot. Had to not stream for a little bit.
Oh. <laughs> well, Bedrock is Xbox and PC and all that, right? Java is strictly PCs, basically, and Win uh, Mac, Mac and uh, Windows, right? But they're trying to make it all one thing, right? So Bedrock is their solution, and it's a good one. Um, I'd like to see a lot more third-party developers getting into modding. Um, the, the Bedrock version, the Windows 10 version, the, the Xbox version. Minecraft beta. Woo! That's going back a bit, eh? So I chose this spot because there's a village over there and a village over here. So two villages on the ocean. I really like having mountains nearby when I build. So I've got, uh, it's on the ocean itself. Mountains in the back. Very nice. Big three-story nightmare going on right now. It's going to take a lot of work to make this look better than a big gray box. But uh, it's happening. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right. Uh, books. Yeah, this texture pack's the bomb, man. I appreciate a lot of texture pack styles for what they are, but this one I just keep coming back to. I think it's just because it's so easy on the eyes, right? Take that. Put that away. Take this. Books. Do we have enough books for a live bookcase yet? We got three bookshelves. This is a moment. Boom. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of work to put that enchanting room upstairs to, together, but uh, I think we can do it. One thing at a time, right? And egg. Nature stuff. See? Temporary, really. Like mob drops, I didn't really want to put in there, for example. So I've just got them as miscellaneous chests for now. Rotten flesh. Miscellaneous for now, you know. And I got one book left over. I'll put him back where he belongs. All right, upstairs. This is a moment. I'm glad you're here for this. It's just the very beginning of a super sweet enchanting room. This spot right here. Which, as you know, requires a lot of bookcases. So... One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so picture this full of bookcases. It's gonna take a lot of leather. I need to expand that cow farm pretty quick if I wanna to get to work on that. Here's the patio. Again, work in progress. But I'll put some nice, uh, nice fencing along here or something so you can really see out. And yeah, the sun sets right at that peak every day. That's where, that's where the sun goes down. It's pretty, pretty nice. Nice place to be. I wish I lived uh, in an environment like this for reals. I like my house, my real house, but this is better, I think. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Wait a minute. This dynamite stick here. What do I do with it? Put it in here. That's what I do with it. This wool goes over here in the wool. Yeah, whatever. Let's head on down. The whole point of this stream was to look for diamonds. Um, maybe we'll work on the underground tree farm a little bit I got going on around the corner there. And maybe I wanted to expand that hallway to put in some more farm, underground farm stuff essentially. So I don't have to go anywhere and I don't want to fill up the outside with all the different farms you can make. I wanted to just have a small wheat farm, 
some animals, and then everything else gets downstairs. That's the plan. We'll see. These beats are mellow, but they're good. I'm not hating it. It's kind of smooth. Just working it. This is how it's done. Well, there's a lot more efficient ways to do it than this. But this is how we're doing it. Couldn't agree more, man. Could not agree more. Uh, there is no wrong way to play this. Uh, like I was saying in the last stream, I've seen some pretty critical um, YouTube uh, tutorials and sort of YouTube uh, streams uh, that people are very specific about efficiency and things like that. And in all honesty, man, just play how you want to play. What's behind the next block is really what Mojang's selling here, and uh, it works. You shouldn't feel rushed into it. You should just want to want to just bash away at rocks, see what's going on, maybe make something fun, right? skeleton again. Nah, well, yeah, I guess you can't force anybody else to do it, but... I've taught uh, quite a few people how to play Minecraft over the years, but um, I always do the same thing. It's like, this is the basics, like the basic basics. You set up a small farm. Uh, wheat farm is usually the first one to teach people because grass seeds are easy. And uh, all you need is a hoe, you know, some water. But um, yeah, just, and then don't, don't tell them anything else. You know, just let them, let them just, you know, discover how to make a sheep farm and how to get the wool and all that fun stuff, right? Don't need to, don't need to fill in the details. They'll figure that out themselves. Twitch, of course, here has some next level gamers for Minecraft. I cannot believe some of the complex mods and things that people have put on their on their Minecraft, and it's beautiful. Uh, I love every minute. I love watching it. Um, also, really nice people, so that really helps a lot too. Is just sort of chill out with some good people and really learn about some crazy modifications. But at the end of the day, Minecraft, 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 it's just beautiful. Don't need any mods to enjoy this. It's still good. across a lot of lava in the past recently there and now I'm not seeing any over here which is pretty starting to weird me out a little bit Honestly, man, I'd say to you, go ahead, load up Minecraft, play it again, but seriously, if you're anything like me, 
you get into a game, you're feeling it, and you play that for a little while. I go in and out of uh, first-person shooters, uh, start getting a passion for just um, different kinds of games, a great big RPG. I like to play a lot of older games a lot of times. Um, graphics to me are not everything. So sometimes uh, the games that were produced a decade ago are still amazing today. Especially if you're looking for a good story and things like that, right? Who needs the graphics if you need if it's got a story that's just a banger? So, um, yeah, so I, I go in and out of these sort of phases. And right now, I'm feeling Minecraft. I'm gonna play a lot of play a lot of Minecraft for everybody. We can all hang out. Just sort of do it up, you know. trying to leave this coal alone here leave it sort of floating it'll look kind of cool all poking out like this when it's done see efficiency miner I am not hey uh Honestly, give the uh, put it on the bedrocks on your phone, right? For seven bucks on the Android market, for the uh, Windows 10, Windows 10 bedrock is a dollar eighty, two bucks. You just pay buy one of those game codes. Uh, they're legit and they are that cheap. You do not need to spend a lot of money to play Bedrock Edition by any means. I think from the uh, official store, it's much, much more, 15, 20 bucks or twenty five or who knows what. Uh, I haven't looked in a while. But yeah, you can get a game code for Windows 10 version, um, Minecraft straight up, right? And yeah, two bucks, nothing. Great, great gift, you know? Oh. The coal. 30 bucks. <laughs> well, Mojang uh, deserves every penny, but uh, if you go to do yourself a favor, take uh, take yourself to uh, one of those game code com comparison sites. So I always say go to DL Compare, download, I guess it's download, DL Compare, right? Um, it's something that I've made a couple purchases off in the past and it's worked very well for me. Um, a lot of the um, game code websites, some of them are very shady, so you do have to be very careful, including some of the sources off DL Compare. Just be, be careful with your money in a sense. But uh, that being said, it's a website that compares all the prices of game, game code websites, right? DL Compare, search Minecraft, I guarantee you'll see it for much, much less than $30. Much, 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 <laughs> much less. <laughs> 30 bucks, wow. Worth every penny, like I'm saying, for sure. Got my purple boots. Got those during a raid. Uh, one of the raiders dropped it and I repaired them up and now they're looking great. Pretty proud about that. It's good gear. problem man and yeah oh uh the villagers and pillagers villages and pillagers villagers and pillagers whatever uh that update had uh dudes that show up at villages and try to kill everybody so bad guy villagers if you if you haven't seen it and so there's waves of them and if you survive the waves of them you uh you become the hero of the village and you get discounts and stuff and uh you just sort of 
if you have villages, these things happen, and so you want to try and pay attention and protect your villagers. Babysitting them, in a sense. And it's fun. Uh, the, the drops are great. When, uh, when these guys show up, they drop a lot of uh, equipment, right? So, you can, especially early game, if you can handle them, um, you will get a great start uh, finding a raid that's happening. It actually, it actually really is. If you, um, not the last broadcast I did, but the one before, uh, is is kind of a new experience for me. They don't happen too often for me. Uh, I'm sure for other people they get to ha they get to have raids all the time, but uh, I I don't come across them very often. But if you go in my Twitch history, there there's two broadcasts before there was a raid that happened. You'll be able to see a little bit of what it's all about. The final wave has sort of big dude that shows up and you gotta beat him up and everything kind of like a boss experience in a sense just a, a different kind of mod mine was a, it was an evoker that showed up and yeah it's good stuff really fun good fun for a dollar eighty right see my style is just pointless mining hoping to bump into diamonds like a blind fool yeah this is it this is what I'm doing I, I kind of like it I'm not gonna lie I don't mind doing this at all it's just a way to chill out listen to some tunes meet some people right <laughs> it's okay I'm not trying to impress anybody and if someone is impressed, well, great, but uh, if you think this is impressive, the only thing I'm seeing impressive is the amount of time I put in. Five bucks? Yeah. Yeah, it'll sit around that. I bought it a, a couple times for two or three dollars, so it does actually go lower than that on occasion, at least. Um, if you're not in a hurry, you could just poke around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> five bucks. This game is definitely worth five dollars. <laughs> definitely. I never bothered to see if there's any kind of discount you can get on the Java version. I never, never noticed that. Yeah, in, um, on the Android market, uh, if you have an Android cell phone, um, it's uh, $7 for the Bedrock version on your phone, right? And it is the same same thing, just on your phone. So tablets and phone, that's kind of nice, right? If you have an iPhone, I've seen it for, I think it's about 10 bucks for Minecraft on your, on your iPhone. Okay, no problem, man. So on your Java version though, when were you, if you were last playing, were you, did you install Optifine? Have you given that a try? That is a fantastic mod. More than just fantastic, that is probably the way the game is really supposed to look. If you don't know what Optifine is, do a really quick search of that, it will blow you away. Like a video search, a YouTube video search or something like that, uh, see a little clip of it, because you gotta see it to believe it. They did a bang up job of that.
There's some lava happening to the right of us here. Don't know if you heard that. Honest, this corner needs some light pretty bad right now, so let's just punch on through. See if we can see some lava. Nope. Here? Nope. Nope. Where is it? There it is. It's gonna pour down from above. Oh. I work outdoors and I work with stone a lot, uh, but never this much, of course. This is insane, of course. All right, if that's gonna happen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a little pit for this lava to fall into. And that way, it's contained in a sense. Oh, some lapis happening. In a cavern, I guess? There's clearly some light coming through. There it is, spectacular. Ta-da! <laughs> we'll get around this to get that lapis over there. For a sec, to see what it's all about. Yeah. Nice. Where's that shovel? Bam, bam. Yep, the right tool for the right job, right? Okay. I know this looks like diamonds, but it's lapis. See? Yeah. So how am I going to get, I don't really want to uh, fill in this lava, I actually want to keep it flowing there. But I do want to access this cave system over here, so we'll, we'll kind of see if we can circumvent that. What is that? Oh, 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 no. Ah, oh, well. 
see, did I already come here? Or what's up with this? There's cobblestone that's already been picked up. Oh, hello. <laughs> right. So, not that great. Monster spawner. Is that what I think it is? Nope, it's just tons of skeletons. All right, you ready for a fight? Here we go. Come on. Come on, dudes. Get over here. Because there's so many of them, I don't want to... Uh, Want to poke around the corner? Oh, can you shoot me? Probably, eh? Yeah. All right. Put that back up. So how do I get these guys? <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> Maybe I'll slam one of these up here just so I can see. Cut off this water. Oh, <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep doing that. See what happens. You keep doing that. Jeez. Yeah, I'm thinking. I just don't like ruining a source of water and then you can't get it back, you know? And I already got a bucket full of water, so I can't just take it and put it back. We'll try it. There we go. Come on, buddy. That's right. That's right. Block the flow. For the win. Can I have it back? Just out of curiosity? Nope. It's gone. Oh, well. I am famous for getting lost in these things. I am going to come back here. That gets a double torch. And it will help us remember that this... This is how you get back. Said the guy is for sure going to get lost in this. Jeez Louise, Margaret. The amount of mobs in this cave is killing me. Killing my back. Oh, two torches now. Come on. All right, so this is another junction kind of place. So we'll put two torches. You know what? I am far from home. I'm getting a little nervous going this deep into the system. We will have adventure time some other time. I'll push deep into that. But for now... Nope. Gotta get back. There's other stuff to work on anyways. This is a nice distraction, but... So, there's double torch. Oh, I will. Harrison, I will get lost. That's a guarantee. 
just that guy. So we'll go this way. Good. Look at this. You want to talk about dumb? Traveling trader has spawned inside my ridiculous cave. What's he selling? yourself buddy this pick is so close to broken I'm just gonna break it can't break it with a llama standing in the way stays like that. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't get mad. Oh, he's spitting at me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. say you haven't played in a while and th believe me I get that uh, I definitely understand that I come and go from games pretty regularly but I think you can see the appeal of playing the game there's a lot going on I broke my pick on his head perfect hate to say he deserves it but what a chump Hey Sherry, nice to see you're back. Got some good news for you. I was saving it for somebody who's been around since the beginning of this gigantic room. And Sherry, you're the lucky one. So, check it out. After so much mining, looking for diamonds, as you know. Bam! Diamonds. And some here. Right on, right? Isn't that great? So, it's time for these to come out. Yeah. So, how many did we get there? Eleven is fantastic. I am so happy about that. Oh, it's got some nodes going on, Hyrosynth. I kind of like just leaving them alone. You come and get them when you need them, you know? Uh, leave them all poking out there. I find it encouraging for some reason. Like, see, there's stuff here. You can just keep mining. So am I sick of uh, hopping up these stairs or am I, am I going to put proper stairs in this place yet or what? I think I probably should. All right. First things first, we'll come this way, put away some stuff. Granite. Diorite. Andesite. 
chest of gravel. It's hilarious. Nature stuff. Nope. Got some weapons over here. Iron here. Gold here. This will only take a second, guys. Don't have too much to put away. Lapis. Look at this. It's coming along, eh? Yeah, Sherry, tell me what you're thinking. This is just stone. Let's pull all that out for now, actually. We're going to make the diamond pickaxe. This is a moment. I should I should enjoy this. I should savor it. Uh, yeah, uh, Hyacinth rotten flesh became something you can trade to clerics in the villages, and they will give you stuff, and you level up your cleric uh, by trading with them. They accept rotten flesh uh, for emeralds, and then you can turn the emeralds into something else. Or yeah, you can trade them with certain villagers, probably just clerics at, at their little church thing. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, whatever. All right, diamond pickaxe, here we come. So, so, so good. Definitely need that. These diamonds, actually, I just have sort of valuables chest. That's, these are just gonna live in here. We'll put those away for now. Yeah, we did it. It wasn't just me. It was you guys. Remember Hyacinth, I told you, put the emotional support there? <laughs> this is what it's all about. This is what I mean by that. <laughs> so. Let's check on our uh, tree farm really quickly here. We planted some birch trees in a new birch area, and look at this. Hey. There's somebody in here. Nope. Yeah, got some birch growing. That's really great. Looks like none of the leaves are touching. Get your enchanting table made so you can get a fortune three pickaxe. Well, Sherry, let me tell you a little story about enchanting. I have started my room. Ta-da! I got three bookcases. <laughs> it's not very much. <laughs> but uh, this is the start. So yeah, five by five, right? Is the way you build it. I'll put the uh, enchanting uh, table in the middle. Um, might want to re redo this floor. I was thinking of raising it up, but I'm probably going to have to raise the roof on that anyways. Yeah. I forget exactly what does it take to do an enchanting table. Let's find out. Don't even know what it looks like in this uh, texture pack here. Bookshelves and barrels. No, it's not listed right now. Probably because I'm missing redstone and things. Are you sure you don't need bookshelves in the corners? All the diagrams I've seen are uh, three obsidian, one diamond, one book, eh? We got ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Let's go downstairs and go get some of that obsidian right now. Oh, I need cows for days, that's for sure. Huh? 
This is where we're gonna get it. Check it out. Does this even work? Hold on. I'm gonna get over here. Struggling. Struggling. There. Is that bedrock? No. It's obsidian. Bam. And just for a better look at it. Just like that. Right on. So I need enough, uh, well, three for the, um, three for the table, I guess, right? Oh yeah, it's painful. Lots of stone, there we go. Come on, diamond. There we go. some disappear that's not cool let's try over here oh, they're blowing they're flowing away is that what's happening here well not gonna put up with that I'm not wasting my time Something like that. <laughs> struggling, struggling. <laughs> right, so not great. Maybe this water, maybe it's time for this water to go. A little bit frustrating, right? Let's seal her off, or at least block it with that. Right. So how are we doing now? I guess there's another source. Yeah, it's right there. Well, let's turn it off. Turn it off. What's going on here? Another source. Come on now. this area here that's not even funny come on is this is this for real here I thought for sure that if we I guess it's not far enough away So, let's make it far enough away. See? Oh, I know it's coming from the top, man. I was just trying to control it. I don't want to turn that little waterfall thing down. Uh, to be honest, I really like it. I'm trying to remember how many... Like, what's the minimum for a minimum number of obsidian to make a portal, right? So we got nine right now. Wow, ten. gonna take a wild guess and say thir yeah 10 so plus the three we're gonna need 13 pieces minimum hopefully that works out for us 
looks like I blocked off just enough here. And we'll make a little, uh, quickly make a little flint and steel. All right. Let's head on up. And this dude. <laughs> Corner is necessary. <laughs> it's our pride, right? Every time I go past there, I hear a zombie. Every time. But I don't see him. So maybe we'll go up first, place the blocks, then go back down, get what we need to light her up. So, the idea was this is enchanting room portal is up here this nightmare which it looks like I didn't really finish it was supposed to be right here three across did you say yeah it's three across no we're making it four across ah oh, that means we need more obsid obsidian you guys are right see or I was thinking this little corner here right but I don't want to make a pathetic portal, right? I mean, aesthetics, right? More obsidian. It's just how it's it's got to work. We will make one this big, however that might be. tall portal. Is that one too high? Really? Yeah, it is. Okay. going on here there that's gonna be our portal and it should work I think so how many more do we need here one just one there and then three for the enchanting table really do want to just uh, make a little farm for this obsidian stop having to go deep into the earth for it but right now I don't mind booking it side let me take this one I actually see this for some reason as some pretty cool resource there's a lot of it sitting right here and so I don't really want to ravage it I wanted to oh 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 no Clearly, I need five minutes. <laughs> it is a big portal, but the minimum size portal is not impressive, right? Oh, no. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's a disaster. Not happening. Let's 
wall off. Take some of the stone back later, maybe. Just want to stop the water. Is that too much to ask here? Nope. Good enough. Torch. And away we go. Oh yeah, stand, I could stand in the water and do it, but a bit of a pain in the butt. Just like this is being right now. five pieces that is enough that's enough we're good yeah yeah hi synth that's right and I'll tell you something the uh, the simple simple obsidian farm that you can make um, which I will be building upstairs probably next next stream. We'll, we'll work on that um, hallway a little bit um, Yeah, super basic, but it's exactly where the water touches the lava and you just break the block and it hits it again Then you break the block and hit it again. And you just have this endless endless supply of obsidian if you, if you do it right There's actually a very specific rule to it though um, The water has to be reaching out towards the the lava and touch it at a certain distance basically or it won't work uh, it doesn't it just turns it into like a stone or something yeah honestly really basic farm it's really easy all you need is a bucket with some water and then dump that and in, in, the, in the one end of it and then you dump the lava in the other end of it and where they meet uh, if you do the right kind of um, distance that happens of water overlapping I think is water stronger than it has to be closer anyways um, it will turn it into obsidian in the middle every time so where they touch obsidian and then you break that block um, and then you'll have obsidian again and obsidian again yeah nice place to just uh, keep it going you know all right back upstairs oh wait 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 we might as well Make a flint and steel while we're at it, right? Where is it here? This thing. Bam. All right, let's do it. Wait a minute. I'll tell you, it's nighttime. I don't want to do this at night. This is a milestone moment here. We're going to have some day daylight for this. There we go. Up we go. Oh, yeah. Like that. I really should fill in that wall before I light it up, but I can't resist, so we're just going to go for it. Yeah. Stand back and admire its glory. Woo! So nice. So nice. Looks great. Oh yeah, Sherry, that's a good point. 
definitely. One second here. Let's get a little bit of bread in this. So now, what does it take for you know, this under chest recipe, eh? There it is. Two diamonds in a book. Right. Here's my, no, 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 no. no. Here's my book. And the diamonds. Just two. Wait, was it two or was it three? Yeah, it's just two. Ah, Hyacinth. <laughs> there are crazy people out there who know all the recipes, you know, right here, but man, there's just no way. <laughs> That's why I play with this little cheater on the side here, because I do not personally have time for it. I can respect it. Bam! Enchantment table. We did it. Go put it in. Goes right here. Nice looking enchantment table, eh? Jollycraft uh, texture pack there. That looks nice. It does look nice. Looks like it's getting a little bit of juice from the books around it there. So, that's coming along. I guess I should get to work on those cows now, eh? Do the cow farm thing. All right, let's see what we can unload downstairs here. Bunch of stone. Uh, no, not that. Thought I had some stone bricks going on around here. already made stack of stone bricks but it's looking like no nope this is all stuff that I've found with you guys this whole thing we built it together found all this stuff with you guys it's been great there oh wait a minute no 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 that's not happening wait a minute, what do we got going on here stone bricks let's go upstairs and just finish that one edge of the uh, where the portal is yeah, cooked stone. Mmm. <laughs> What's for dinner, ma? <laughs> Kid, you don't want to know. sloppy there that's all right see oh. Oh. <laughs> you just can't beat yourself up over a misplaced block in this game 
something like that. Just close it right off. Nope. Uh, you know what? I'll just leave it like that for now. Might even want to take that one down. That one. this now that's what we're looking at it's pretty pro and that's what this is for see ta-da Harrison thank you very much for popping by man it's really nice to meet you Thank you very much for the support, man. Uh, come hang out again sometime. I'll show you a little bit more of the house. Maybe we'll put something else together. I appreciate the advice. Uh, I've learned a thing or two from you. And I definitely encourage you to spend the five bucks or less and pick up Minecraft Bedrock. Put it on your phone maybe for a little bit, you know. Come back to Minecraft a little bit. See if you're, see if you're feeling it, right? Yeah. Have a good one for sure. Right on, Sherry, we did it. This is looking great, right? Love it. So I might actually fill that in with stone or something, glass maybe, or yeah, I don't know, something that just isn't, because if you look at it, it's just sort of stairs with an archway. Looks like a cool portal for sure, but Should we see what's on the other side? No. No, you know what, Sherry? I'm gonna wait until there's a few more people watching the stream. That's what we'll do. When we get a few of us, more than just one person, two people, you know, that kind of thing, we'll, we'll take that walk for the first time as a little group. That's what we'll do. We'll save this one. Just crouch. <laughs> no. Okay, all this is happening here. See, that's oak fence right there. I want to make this farm a lot bigger. iron back downstairs while I'm at it. Still got lots of iron, which is awesome. I can take an oak fence. Wait a minute. Do I, I thought I had just a little bit of that left over. I do. So we'll add to this. Nineteen pieces ought to do something. Yeah, well, I've been neglecting these damn cows. But not anymore. We're gonna make give them a give them a much deserved pen increase here. One thing I've learned about this ridiculous setup is I got I got this here, right? So if you you make this little channel basically so the doors there you come in the door and there's like a, a bit of a walkway before you enter the actual pen and the cows barely ever find their way through it makes it pretty easy so we'll start it here i'm not gonna make it too much bigger right now happy cows. They've been living in a very small space for a long time. Bam. Yeah. How's that? How's that, Bessie? Yeah. Feel good about that? 
Do you feel so good about that that maybe you want to breed and make a baby cow? that chicken in there for now why not and there's these clowns what am I doing that's not happening it's this That's all I got for now. Sorry, sheep. Deal with it. Forgot to make some shears. I lost my shears, and uh, time to make some new ones. There we go. Brand new shears. Very nice. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh yeah, Sherry, I'm gonna go crazy with the cows to be honest, but um, see, I, I know a, a farm design where basically the adult, the adults are in a pit and then you feed them and the babies fall through into a pit below. And then when those babies grow up, you just slaughter them. And that way you can just keep feeding and breeding. And then the babies just, you fill up the pit with babies down below and then they grow up. And it's a very cruel, but functional meat farm and leather and all that. It's just, uh, can't say I want to set up that setup this time. I actually want more of a pastoral kind of, you have a, a legit farm, right? got to go in there and feed him and all that stuff. Oh no, come on. Alright, whatever. Is it this clown? Are you the reason I can't go to bed? guys anywhere near my house whatever hey wait a minute let's try and oh <laughs> okay is he the reason I couldn't go to bed? No? Still somebody around, eh? Alright. I do not see anybody. Tell me it's somebody upstairs. Yep, it's this moron. I really gotta get some torches up around this place, eh? There, that might help. We'll just do that for now. There's a lot of rotten flesh, I'll tell you what.
Think about that for a second there. What do I really need to deal with right now? It's expanding that sheep pen. It's definitely part of the plan. Uh, not by much. I do not need a large sheep pen, but these guys definitely need... Oh, no. Look at this clown. Don't even think about it. What do you think, guys? Off you go. It's bigger, it's better. It's more grass to eat. I think they're happy. from the door and we'll all be friends here. No, get away from the door. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You're kidding me, right? Is this happening to me right now? Come on, jerks. Get in here. <laughs> Did I pick up the, the creeper just blow up the door completely? Probably, eh? Amazing. <laughs> Baby cow, you were looking for trouble. So did I miss the door? Maybe it's still around here, or do I gotta make one? Oh, disaster. All right, go get some dirt, fill that in. You're more trouble than you're worth, cows. doorway thing for now back out fill this in and then I'm going to might as well make the sort of hallway concept that I told you about like that so it goes something like this you put just just a bit of a see and that's your entrance come on in on in. That's right. There.
Well, thanks, Creeper. That was a total pain in the butt. Still, patched up, looking okay. We'll expand that even larger later? Not right now. some of this stuff away down here got a food chest here nature chest feather can go in there for now right on right on right on I think we're good. Put this iron away. Yeah, good enough. So, I think that's enough for now. I really want to thank you guys for hanging out popping by today we discovered diamonds took a long time took a lot of effort but we did it we did it we did it so that was a huge win got that diamond pickaxe got some obsidian today was a massive day all right so, so we found diamonds got obsidian made a portal made an enchantment table got a few bookcases done and today we put in the uh, birch tree farm thing so huge moves today huge moves thank you very much for uh checking it out and hanging out with me while i uh, do this insane stuff here yeah, i'll leave you with a nice sunset view how about that that'll be nice The road to 50 followers is going well in my opinion. I really appreciate everybody popping by, giving some follows up. We'll hang out together. See, that sun just sets right by that peak there. This is an amazing place. This is such a good Minecraft world. I can even see the village a little bit from this side. I see it from, yeah, yeah, you can see both villages from this patio. This patio is part of the house, so it's not like it's a suspended on anything. I was thinking of possibly taking that wall down and making a little bit of a entrance, like alcove kind of sort of styled thing. Just knock it down, you know? Something a little outdoors, but still kind of indoors, you know? Looking good. Yeah. So, sun's going down. So, I'll see you guys later.